Welcome to Hugh and A. Today's question comes from Brenda from Gippsland. We'd like to thank everyone who also wrote in as well. And this question, and this, and the question in this edition is this: Hugh, what do you do on a daily basis that makes you happy? That's a very good question. Thank you, Beefy. Thank you, Brendan. That's a great question. This is definitely the closest we've ever sat to each other. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You've been uncomfortable this close. It's different. It's different. <laughs> Um, okay, so Brendan, I'm very lucky. I get to see Beefy about once a week, and that definitely helps me <laughs> to stay happy. Um, that's a really good question. Um, there's a couple of things I try and get done every day because I know that sort of really helps me to stay as positive as possible. One of the things that I do um, on Sundays, um, you know, that feeling you get when you like the week's about to come around, you start to feel a little bit sort of it's Sunday, and you think, oh, the week starts tomorrow, you get a little bit flat. Do you know that feeling? Yes. Beefy? Yeah. Yes. So when I get so when that happens, I have a journal. Like the, it's actually the Resilience Project journal that we have. Um, one of the pages just says notes, and what I do is on the Sunday I write down each day and some quick notes on what I could do in the time I've got to myself. So it might be Monday I've got a bit of time between a talk, and there might be a pool nearby, so I'll schedule to go for a swim, um, and then I just make sure I do it on the Monday. On the Tuesday, uh, I might say I've got half an hour um, between a meeting and a talk, and I might just write do 30 minute meditation there um, and I'll try and do that. So I set goals on the Sunday, which sounds a little bit kind of, um, a little bit cheesy, but it, it kind of has, I've found it to be really helpful. As an absolute must, um, exercises I find really important. Sometimes it's the last thing I feel like doing, but I always feel good after it. Um, uh, sleep is so vital. Um, I have a 15 month son, Brendan, so I haven't slept in, a, in 15 months, but I know if I do get sleep, I always feel heaps better. Um, Diet, really important. Um, and before I go to sleep, I'll um, actually often in the shower, I just write on the shower screen door three things that went well for me during the day. No matter how bad my day was, I still write them down. And they're things that, uh, that really help me. Um, and I find complimenting people as much as possible, kind of, again, it sounds a little bit lame, but it just makes me feel really good. So uh, that's a very long answer. Sorry, Ben, and sorry, Beefy, it was a bit long. That's all right. Are you sort of happy with that? Yeah, that was a great answer. It gave us a great insight, I thought. Okay, and what, what what are some things you do? Um, I tend to, as you said, I sort of think what went well for me on a certain day. Um, yep. You know, or if so, probably the reverse is you think of what, if nothing went spectacularly well, you sort of think, well, maybe nothing went bad, so maybe it was just a so-so day and you can't really be disappointed with that, I would have thought. I like that, Beefy, that's very good. Hey, what's gone well for you today? Uh, I had a nice coffee before, actually. Yeah. Nice Nine. coffee or nice, nice coffee? coffee. A nice coffee. Nice Mate, coffee. that is a great example. Just the little things, the yeah. little things can make a big difference. Yeah. And you're only halfway through your day as well. Yes, yeah. What are you looking forward to most about the rest of the day? Uh, watching the Pies play tonight. Ah, there you go. Um, hoping for a win, their first win in a long time in Adelaide, actually. That'd be nice. When's the last time they won in Adelaide? 2012. What was the score? I know we won by four goals, but the other kicker of tonight is that we actually haven't won the Adelaide Oval. There Which you go. Makes it a bit daunting. Brendan Beefy has a, a photographic memory for football scores involving Collingwood games. So, um, anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you that. Um, thanks so much uh, for joining us for for Q and A. Uh, thank you, Beefy, for, no for for your research into the questions. Keep the questions coming in, by the way. Good man. Thanks, mate.